Hey guys, I'm Bob. Welcome to the Math Man channel. And today I'm going to talk about area under the curve. Um, this very important thing called the invisible line. So basically, uh, when I actually teach some of the students, um, the problem that I, that I found out, okay, in regards to solving uh, these problems, okay, uh, by students is that um, stu students are not able to solve very complicated kind of uh, area under the curve question because they do not know how to split uh, the curve itself uh, into different areas to make it make the whole graph very really easy to see and hence solve the problem. Mm -hmm. So uh, what I'm going to teach you today is a very small little trick which is to draw this uh, invisible line so that you'll be able to solve uh, the area under the curve. So if you were to take a look at this uh, very simple simple graph, okay, uh, on the whiteboard itself. So if you want to find this area under the curve, um, you need to do something to the curve, I'm right to say that. So that something is that we need to draw the invisible line. So where does this invisible line okay, should be drawn? Okay, so basically you have to draw this invisible line from the point of intersection, which is any point of intersection between two curves or maybe a line a curve and so on and so forth and draw a line down towards the axis okay it can be the x-axis it can be the y-axis why is this very important is because um, this will this will actually help you to see okay um, or visualize much more clearly as to which part to actually take so if I were to take this as B, all right, and I were to take this as B itself, so it is very obvious that it will be much uh, easier to actually solve this problem. Why? Because you can actually place on this what I call the invisible line to actually solve the problem. So in order to calculate, okay, the area under the curve or the shaded region itself, so what you do is that you take the equation or the integration of, okay, the integration of the curve from zero to B. Right, zero to b. So you take the integration of, okay, the curve from zero to b. Okay, so that will give you the this whole segment down here. All right. So this is the first part. That this that is the integration of the curve, and subtract away from this triangle. All right. So this triangle is just minus away half. Okay, half times b times b because the length is b and the height is b. All right, so you hence you will just be able to find. Okay, what is the area of the shaded region? All right, so this dotted line itself is actually what I call the invisible line because originally, okay, when you're given the question itself, uh, you are not okay, you are not given this particular line, okay, itself. So you have to draw it yourself. So always okay when you okay do area under the curve whenever you see an intersection point all right so you, whenever you see an intersection point just draw a dotted line down to the axis on both sides hence this will make it much more easier for you to solve and that's a hint which usually most uh, teachers do not okay do not actually talk about because they didn't realize about it so once you have these um, tips, you definitely know how to solve the problem very easily. That's it. Um, Bob signing off from here. If you guys have any queries or questions, you can actually post in the comment section below. And I will try to post as uh, frequently as possible to help students to solve problems such as this. Or uh, give them a little bit of tips and tricks okay, to identify, to, to enable them to identify what's the missing formula in their success to math. Alright, this is Bob signing off from here. Goodbye guys. And thank you for watching the video.